Hello everybody, Toast Bomb here today, giving you guys another update on the game, a little status update of what is going on, I show you guys what I've been working on, and yeah, let's get right into it now, the first thing you may notice is something crazy here, what is this program, you've never seen it before. Or you probably haven't seen it before, and I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't seen it before, because this just came out about a week ago. This is Unreal Engine 4, Epic Games' latest and greatest engine. It is extremely powerful. I'll show you guys some little example things that they've given us to experiment with and play around with and it, it's really really awesome but you can see right here this is what I have just kind of messed around with and created so far and I'm extremely happy about this engine it is a lot easier to use than UDK and if you don't know UDK is Unreal Development Kit it is what I was using previously and it was essentially the Unreal Engine 3 engine. It was a little bit different, but it was essentially Unreal Engine 3. And with Unreal Engine 4, they've changed a lot of stuff, made it a lot more intuitive and a lot easier to work with. So you can see what I got right here. Now I did want to get some arms in here and animate the arms, and you can see obviously I do have arms here, but these are not my arms. These are just ones that they've thrown in here to kind of give you some something to start with and, and play around with and I have animations implemented on them so you can see once I do get implement uh, animations all I have to do is basically just kind of throw them in and just replace the model that they're you know going towards instead of this model it will go towards something else so it won't be a hard thing but uh, I, I was hoping that I could before doing this update get my own arms in there but I'm kind of having some troubles getting stuff going from Blender to Unreal I know it's possible there's just a few things that are different from UDK it seems and I'm trying to figure those out so anyways you can see I got running implemented this is all from scratch it does extend from classes that they do already provide like the character class and some other things but this is a blank project it doesn't start out from one of their templates so this is all stuff I've made there's a little reticle right there they give you that reticle too but it would not be hard to create your own and you can see I got this little shooting functionality here and you can shoot the bullets out like that and this could easily be you know imagined as being a grenade just put a little delay on it and make it you know not go quite so far and then have a timer on it and then it explodes and that could easily be a grenade you can see it bounces on the ground interacts with objects bounces off of everything uh, these are different cubes that I was experimenting with on how to import stuff from Blender to UDK and just experimenting with different ways to see how flexible the engine is. So far it seems a little bit more flexible than UDK, but it's still a little rigid in some parts, but that, that's okay. As long as you figure out what you need to do, that, that's kind of all that needs to happen. So anyways, that is what I've been working with so far, no real levels made except for these just little cubes, but I've been experimenting with that and, and trying to figure out the system. You can see some of the code that I have in here so far. It's not extremely advanced, but I'm, I'm slowly picking away at code in the documentation to slowly kind of figure out what needs to happen. Um, you can see this is one of the shooter game examples that they give you. I'll show you this in a little bit. And I've kind of been going line by line trying to figure out this code and kind of how it all fits together. This is in a different language than the Unreal Engine 3 was. Unreal Engine 3 used Unreal Script, which was kind of annoying because it was their own proprietary uh, language and you so see you had to kind of learn it while most languages do kind of work really similarly it still ended up taking longer than it should have so now they've switched to C++ and I haven't really used C++ much but it's much more standard and I have messed around with it a little bit so I was kind of a little more at home here even just starting off uh, looking at this at this code because it's a little bit more familiar to me anyways let's uh, get into one of these example things really quick. Let's exit out of this guy and let's open up the shooter game. I guess I'll just go into that real quick. This is the shooter game example and this is 
all online working everything is there they have reloads in they have a ton of stuff already in and you kind of can you know learn from it and uh, experiment with stuff so again that's kind of what I've been doing is, is messing around and picking apart the engine to try and figure out how it's going on uh, how stuff fits together you can see automatically like already this looks awesome obviously this you know this doesn't happen automatically while the engine does allow for amazing things you know it still takes awesome artists and things like that to make it look this awesome but you can see they got aim down sights shooting and all of those things you can see it also says building navigation down there and that is because as i run around it's recording my movements and my behaviors and building nav meshes for bots based on what i'm doing so what it can do is then figure out what i'm doing and then use that information and in, in that recording uh, to influence how the bots work and how their behavior is so they become more human like you can also see there's like health pickups and uh, this is all hit scan weapons that they have right here which I'll probably be using in the game I haven't decided if it will be projectile or hit scan or what it will be you know that that comes down to experimentation and what feels right so we'll see about that but anyways that's sort of the shooter example they have there I guess I'll uh, open up really quick some content examples and just trying to show those off because there's some really neat things that goes on I'll show off the particle system because that's one of the coolest things that they have in this engine is the uh, like just kind of show off the power and, and cool things you can do. It's this effects one right here. Uh, some really neat stuff. So just to sort of give you guys a comparison, I don't know why the reticles messed up right there. I don't know if you're probably seeing that in the recording. I'm not sure, but this is maybe what you'd see in a more traditional game engine. Uh, you'd see sort of this. You know, it looks all right, but it's not fantastic. But then here we show these GPU particles and you can see how much more you can really put on screen without you know really jacking up the intensity on the hardware too much and then here we can see oh just showering out it looks so cool and all of these things like pretty much all these things you can create extremely extremely quickly you know in only like a few minutes a lot of these things you can easily make and it's extremely powerful and really really awesome uh, some of the stuff you can do with this 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 Unreal Engine, it's it's really, really cool. This is one of my favorites right here. It just looks awesome. Again, all this stuff you can build extremely fast, and this is all uh, particles emitting light. You can see really nice reflections, and it sh uh, really showcases the power of, of this engine and all this stuff. So I'll hop out of here, and we'll just switch quickly, quickly over to, to here. I believe it is, uh, here we go and we can see some reflection stuff. I don't, my computer doesn't quite hold up on the frame right here with some intense reflections going on, but you can see some of the pet potential of um, the reflections in this engine that look extremely nice. Really, really cool stuff. And that's all real time all of it real time it's really really awesome uh, we'll hop out of here and just show the reflections subway little example here and we'll end it out with that just kind of showing off some of the more of the potential of the engine so we'll start that up real quick um, so anyways that will be it for this one I know obviously not a ton of stuff going in the game so far in terms of code it's a lot of picking apart stuff figuring out how this new engine works but I can tell you already like stuff is getting in there so much quicker I've already learned how this engine works so much faster because it's so much more intuitive and I do have the running around and the shooting and I can make grenades and, and stuff out of what I kind of have already and I'm kind of screwing around with the art stuff to figure out how to get stuff from Blender into the game engine because it's a little specific on how it kind of wants you to put stuff in and there's not a ton of resources out there for uh, learning how to get stuff into the engine properly there's a lot of community stuff that's being created and a lot of stuff by epic too but it's very early on in the engine so some of that stuff is a little bit limited so I'm still trying to figure out that a little bit, but I, I look forward to working more with this engine because it is just so much better and it's, it's really, really awesome. So anyways, that will be it for this one. See you guys later. Bye.